Yo, what is good guys? It's your boy Woods back with a new video and now in today's video We'll be going over some of the best box fighting techniques and tips to help you go ahead and improve your box fights And also it's gonna be included with some of these phasing techniques and tips to help make sure that you are the master of your box fights And definitely winning every single one you encounter if you're new to my channel Then let me quickly introduce you I am the best Fortnite tip youtuber that constantly uploads new tip videos helping you guys improve If it be in arena or just overall giving you best tips like today's video So if you'd like to see more videos and constantly get better at Fortnite, then make sure you're subscribing because it's going to be a win-win and you're not going to lose anything so guys it's free please help me out please help me get to 80k subscribers subscribe with those notifications also i'm super curious about something so everyone watching this video go down to the comments and comment what season you started playing Fortnite in i'm going to be hearting some of the most og seasons i see also if you guys can help me out please drop a like on the video i literally woke up at 6 30 a.m this morning just to avoid the 30 degree weathers so guys please i'm a real grinder i really want on this YouTube thing, man, so just help me out and like the video. But other than that, let's jump straight into the technique. Alright, so coming with the first one, this is very simple. Everyone knows this one, but I had to throw it in here because it's basic. This is just a stair ramp push where you hit your head on the top of the ramp, and when you jump and mine the wall at the same time, your head should get pushed into the box, and this is what it looks like from the enemy's perspective. This is a super easy one, but moving on to something a little bit more advanced. This one here, you want to go ahead and edit your floor just like I do in the video on either sides, and then you should go ahead and just be able to walk straight through the wall as you mine it. And then the next one is a nice run. This is quite advanced, actually. This is with the wall if you edit it. And if you push against the wall as mining against through the wall, you should go ahead and go straight through the wall, getting yourself a nice pump on the other person. This next one here, you can go ahead and do the three edit. And then go ahead and push yourselves into the corner. And once again, go straight through. Obviously, you have to spice it up a little bit, though, because we don't want you guys getting bored. So as you can see here, you want to go ahead and make the little boat sort of shaped floor. And then edit the pyramid up. And you should be able to go walk straight through the wall. This is a very nice technique. The next one, this one's a very simple one. You have to have a little bit good ping for this. But you can actually just pump the wall and go straight through it. I personally didn't know that until the other day. As you can see here, this is super broken. And you can just go through anyone's wall just by doing that. But now let's move on to the defense box fighting techniques. Alright, so these techniques are definitely really useful if you're ever inside of a box. And you need to pull off a very smart play. This one here, I just like to call it the flip ramp. And it is very successful. As you can see, all you want to do is flip your ramp over. And then stand at the back of the wall and flip it one more time. And then you'll know you've done it correctly if the stair goes gold. Golden, that's when it's transparent and you can shoot through it and kill the enemy. They usually are stunned by this. Moving on to the next one though, as you can see here, what you want to do is go ahead and make your pyramid transparent. And this is if you're ever underneath your uh, enemy. And when they fall down, they will not be able to build because the pyramid will be transparent. This is a bit similar to the flip ramp, but instead it's actually with a pyramid. And this will throw a lot of good players off because they're used to the actual flip ramp technique. But instead you can do the exact same thing with the pyramid. So let's go ahead and move on to some aggressive phase through techniques that you guys may want to use if you actually want to push into someone's box. So as you can see here, all you need to do is go from the roof and have two walls and then push up against them into the corner and spray down with an SMG and you will always go ahead and go straight through the floor and ramp. This is especially great even if you have bad ping as it will work 100% of the time. Now we're starting to get very advanced with this next one. As you can see, you want to go ahead and remove the pyramid. And then you want to place a stair, edit it like so, and then phase through the ramp before you actually go ahead and phase through the floor. So this one's a bit of a double whammy. And it's also a very similar one to this, where you can go ahead and actually push into the stair, flipped over, and you should be able to go straight through the floor. As you can see, this is what it looked like from an enemy's point of view. And it's actually super effective because you don't even see them drop, so you get a real good sneaker prize. This one, if you're ever underneath someone's base, all you have to do is use a ramp to go ahead and phase through it by crouching and spraying through an SMG and you go straight through their builds. Now I bet you're real horny to go try these out and tell all your friends about them but just listen there little Timmy the most important part of the video is now coming up and this is actually how to apply these to real life scenarios in the games and how you can actually use them and be successful with them. So now let's go ahead and learn how to actually apply these in a box fighting scenario. So as you can see here I am 1v1ing my friend currently in a box fight and currently he's sitting down in these weird pyramids. I'm not honestly sure what he's doing at this point but anyways nevertheless we're in the fight. I'm trying to find an angle where I can actually fight him and I used the first technique to try and put the stair above my head to glitch through his ramp. Didn't need that in the end because he actually ended up editing out on me But most of the time just a really good technique just to get into someone's box and get in their face and barrel stuff them The next opportunity came about where I could actually use the pyramid and the floor technique Where I put them two together and I can actually go ahead and edit the floor in a boat sort of shape And then go ahead and use it to go ahead and phase through the wall And then I can just barrel stuff him in the face and spray him down this is the best scenario to use it in for that situation, and you guys definitely need to be picking the times you use these. Even though you've learned them in today's video, you can't just chuck them in wherever you want and just think that they're going to be a god strat and they're always going to work for you. I tried the flip reverse ramp here, but obviously this was a bad idea to use it then because he actually used sprayed me out. 
So these are definitely, you need to be thinking about when to use these, and you can't just chuck them in all the time because they're definitely not going to work. So just when the time arises, then use them. Once again here, I was trying to use a technique where I pump into the box. I think in the second here, I actually pull it off. There we are. Go straight through the wall, and I get to barrel stuff him, and he's super successful there. So as you can see, that was a time to use it when it just felt right in motion, and that is definitely when you need to be using it. Never force it upon the player unless it comes naturally. Then I finished him off with a pump, and it was super easy. Once again, going into a fight, I noticed he was in front of me, so I tried to prep my actual stair so I can actually go ahead and jump through his wall. Didn't need it, I actually ended up just being able to barrel stuff him and get a 200 pump. Once again, he was doing this really weird tactic. Don't ask me what he was doing at this point. I have really have no clue. But then you are to go ahead and get out of his box. And I can't panic because you definitely cannot be panicking when trying to do any of these strats. Because it will not work. Because you'll probably most likely fail the actual edit or something like that for the box fighting technique. So definitely the best thing to do in these box fighting techniques is just to get in their face and barrel stuff them. It works 99% of the time. So I'd definitely recommend it if I was you. Also, trying to box over Turtling is a really great way. If you guys do not know this map, I'll have a link in the description to the map. You can actually go ahead and practice your box fighting ability on with your friends. You can 1v1, or you can actually do 2v2s and that sort of stuff. So this is definitely a great map you guys definitely need to be checking out. I actually personally warm up on this map every single day before I actually play Fortnite. And that's definitely going to be how you can improve your box fighting techniques. Once again here, I actually managed to actually put a stare over his head, leaving him very exposed and I can edit it on him and I can get a free shot off. Then it was just a game of cat and mouse and I had to go ahead and follow him around for a while until I finally got back in his face and I could go ahead and try and make a play on him. It was underneath my floor here so I could go ahead and try and get under it. I should have personally went for that stair play where you can actually face through it but unfortunately I forgot about it and didn't do so. In the end I managed to go ahead and try to do a bit of a jump through the wall with the pickaxe and it actually kind of worked. Even though the stair was facing the wrong way you can actually sometimes use stairs that are facing the wrong way to push your head through the actual wall and it can actually help you face sometimes. Here I was going for a bit of a ramp play backwards and actually you can see there I got a nice couple AR shots off using it so it doesn't always need to be used for a shotgun but it definitely can be used for an AR too. Once again I was trying to do it again trying to pull it off here and what do you know I pulled it off and got a nice tack or pump shot off on him and you guys definitely need to be using this as you can see it just felt natural at this point to go ahead and do it again because he was not paying attention and hadn't learned from his mistakes so I could go ahead and hit a nice 60 pump on him even though it was white so now it was just a time for me to go ahead and finish him off and this was super easy I could go ahead and put the stair above my head to use the jump play into his box face through his wall and it's just an easy play from there onwards once again i was trying to use another reverse ramp unfortunately though it didn't work out because he actually ended up changing positions so once again once i said like you, like i said if you try and force the play upon someone most of the time it doesn't work out it's just when it feels natural once again trying to set up the ramp play here where you can actually pump and walk straight through the wall however he was predicting it now because i've already done it so another great tip is that if you ever do this to someone definitely expect them to know what you're going to do if you're taking a long time to set it up so maybe practice some of these in just a creative map before you do them because they will never be successful if you can't do them at fast pace because if you do them slowly and slot and you start you know set them up slowly then people often actually recognize that immediately and then they can pump you straight away so it never works out so you definitely have to be swift for your movements when doing these so definitely make sure to practice these in creative as it will definitely help out a great deal as you can see here i just had to push him and i was actually trying to do a bit of a ramp play here and unfortunately he actually killed me which is honestly fair enough you don't always have to win in these box fights it's honestly just a better advice just to go ahead and try and beat them and actually you've had a good run that round and you've probably improved yourself at editing or building in some sort of respect so you definitely don't have to always worry if you die because it doesn't always mean a bad thing and i personally like to actually pry again try again and play against good players that are better than me because then that means that if i ever beat them then i am improving so never go ahead and actually play against friends that you know are bad just so you can go ahead and beat them always make sure you're trying to face the best person on your friends list or even try and go ahead and find someone in the comments down below if you're watching the video still then make sure to ask some people in the comments if they want to 1v1 ask them for their epic Usernames. I'm sure there'll be a lot of people that will be down to do that. But yeah, always try and make sure that you're 1v1ing the best people to your ability so you can always improve. You definitely do not want to be fighting anyone that is actually worse than you because you'll never improve because you'll just be killing a bot over and over again. Whereas if it's someone you're losing to, then you can actually use some of their advantages and their, what they do to you and try and flip it around and use it back on them. And sometimes it actually works out and you can actually learn from the mistakes that they actually do and you can go ahead and be more successful. That's how I personally grew and got a better controller player myself. I used to be very 
always drain brain dead as a lot of controllers are. But instead, I actually went against some very top tier mouse and keyboard players, and I actually learned from their smart playstyle. And I would like to class myself as quite a smart player. Unfortunately, I got pickaxe here, and that was the end. But anyways, guys, I hope you did enjoy today's video. It was a very nice and short put together video. Unfortunately, it was extremely hot today, so I am sorry if the ending was a little bit drawn out there. But I'm sure you guys hopefully did enjoy. Make sure to drop a like on the video. Make sure to subscribe if you are new. And I guess I will see you all in the next video. Peace.